I don't know. I don't know. Didn't you get it? It means, how are you tonight? I'm, I'm fine. You? Okay, thanks for asking. I'm good. I'm good tonight, too. Yeah, that's a good way if you uh, copy and paste uh, in, in your chat, you can use that um, short for how are you, right? Let's see. How, okay. and then you use R, the, the letter R, and then letter U. Right? It's contract. Yeah. It's short. It's like um, chat language, right? Chat okay. language. Yeah, as we do in as we do in Spanish, uh, as we do in Spanish. Have, have you seen when we say, for example, um, we say uh, like this, right? And you understand what it means, right? Okay, yes. So it's the same. It's the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Welcome. How are you tonight? Hello, Maria. How are you, Carlos? Hello, teacher. Hello, everyone. Fine, great. And you? I'm fine, too. How about you, Carlos? Carlos Eduardo, how were you tonight? Good night. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, great. Great. Hello, Karina. Welcome to your class. Hello, teacher. How are you tonight? I'm fine. Okay. And you? I'm fine, too. How was your day? Um, my day are very, I don't know how do you say, um, stressing. 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 Yeah, yes. okay. You had a lot to do today. Right? Yes. Okay. But now let's forget about that. Let's forget about work right now and let's focus on English, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, and let's try to have fun. Let's try to have fun. Hello, Edwin, how are you tonight? Hello, very nice. Excellent. Hello, Auri. Auri. Ah, nice Auri, to meet hello, you. Teacher. Nice to meet you too. Okay. You? I'm fine. Thank you. Nice to see you here. Thank you. Okay. Hello, Alejandra. Welcome. Good evening. I think she can't hear us. Good evening, Juan Carlos. How are you tonight? Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Hey, Karina, nice manicure. Cool. Thank you. Can you show them? Can you show them? <laughs> oh my God, they're gorgeous, they're gorgeous, oh. Let me, <laughs> let me uh, see. Oh, they are flowers. Did you yes. do it by yourself? Yes. Oh, okay, yes. nice. That's art. That's art. Okay, good. Hello, Giovanni. How are you tonight? Good. Good, good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, great. Great. Let's see who else is here. Hello, Nancy. Hello, Alejandra. Hello, teacher. How are you tonight? Peace. I'm fine. Okay, great, great. Is everybody ready? Yes. Okay, yes. great. Uh, what I wrote, uh, wrote on the chat was ready, steady, go. Okay, that was, I, I was waiting from you that you, say go okay because this is when you start a race es cuando se comienza una carrera right they say ready steady go okay so i'm gonna say ready steady and you say go okay ready 
steady go go excellent yeah go 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 okay we're gonna start tonight by taking the attendance okay <laughs> very funny right <laughs> okay we're gonna take the attendance are you ready please store Turn on your camera. Turn on your camera. I need to see you and everybody wants to see you. Okay, I'm ready now. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay. Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales. No, Alexis. Okay, not yet. Let's see, Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Present teacher. Okay. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Not yet. Okay. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Present. Okay. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sánchez. Present. Jonathan. Present. Okay. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. <laughs> Present. Okay. Jose Atilio Mangandi Alvarado. Not yet. Okay. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramirez. Present. There you are. Karina Noemi Alvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Okay. Kevin Antonio Ramirez Sánchez. Okay. Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present teacher. Okay. Nancy Ivette Tobar Rivera. Present. Okay. okay. Uh, Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Not yet. Omar Alfredo? No. Okay. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Nos estamos blindando los cuatro. Present teacher. Okay. Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Present. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Okay. Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. Present. And Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Present. Okay, good. Okay, everyone. Let's see. We're gonna. Uh, uh, let me share the screen for you because I want to share the dates. Remember, remember the dates, the, the um, uh, ending dates for the exams. Do you remember? Okay. The last day to submit your middle midterm test will be on the 5th of June. Let me check. The simple present. Oh yes, yes, simple present it was yesterday, yes. Right now, I just want you to take note about the date, the last date. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Let me check it for you first. I was gonna share that, but it's okay like this. 
Sábado 5 de junio, June the 5th, ok? Sábado 5 de junio, la última fecha para que usted eh, eh, complete su examen intermedio, ok? Sábado 5 de junio, tome nota. Después no va a decir, ah, la teacher no dijo, ah, yo lo hice hasta el lunes 7, no, ok? Sábado 5, acuérdense que en Safor toma esos reportes en la fecha establecida. Y para el final, eh, como en, este, en esta ocasión, para este curso, tenemos un feriado, ¿verdad? Nos cayó en medio un feriado. El feriado que aman los padres, ¿verdad? Eh, que un presidente les concedió <ríe> eh, como feriado. ¿Se recuerdan? El 17 de junio. ¡Yay! Happy Father's Day. No vamos a estar en videoconferencia, por lo tanto, se corre una fecha, ¿verdad? Se corre hasta el 21 de junio, el final del curso. Por lo tanto, ese día, 21 de junio, al finalizar la clase, ustedes se meten a la plataforma para poder eh, hacer su examen final, ¿verdad? Ese es el momento en que ustedes van a... Eh, eh, darle enter ahí, ¿verdad? Para que uh, so you can submit your final test, okay? And be promoted, obviously, right? So take note. 21 de junio el examen final y el 5 de junio el examen intermedio, ¿verdad? Ok. ¿Preguntas hasta ahí? ¿De eso? No pregunta. Ok. Ok, now we are going to start with a little feedback. I have a question. Tell me, tell me. Eh, yo no he podido activar mi, bueno, desde el módulo pasado sí lo activé y ahí estuve haciendo mis tareas y mi examen y todo. Uh -huh. Pero ahora que he estado intentando activar para que me aparezca ya eh, las tareas de, esta, de este módulo, Siempre me siguen apareciendo las mismas del, del módulo anterior. Uh, y le aparece uh, al principio, porque ese ya tiene que estar, ese ya tiene que estar como archivado. Entonces, sí, archivado se llama en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Entonces eh, tiene que buscar salir, salirse y volver a entrar. Que tiene que salirse porque, del porque todo. Como yo bajé, la, yo bajé la aplicación en el teléfono. Uh -huh. Entonces, vaya, intenté hacerlo desde ahí y me sale siempre. Y luego mejor lo quise hacer en el sitio web, uh -huh. pero tampoco me deja. ¿Y puede probar ahorita? Sí. De, de, uh, ¿Pruebe ahorita poniendo online? En la... En la en el browser, en el, en donde se pone la dirección. Lo hice desde la dirección que nos enviaron al grupo, a, al WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Nos enviaron un enlace. Ok. Eh, y entonces lo hice desde ese enlace donde dice. Tienes eh, que poner online. Punto enlace de plataforma de aprendizaje. Online.inglescorporativo.net. Exactamente. Ah. Yo le sugeriría que si le da el problema es porque no se ha actualizado la suya, su, su cuenta. Entonces, eh, le sugiero que vuelva a entrar completamente. Si aún entrando, cerrando y volviendo a entrar completamente, con, ingresando su clave y todo, eh, y aún así le persiste el problema, entonces yo lo reporto a... a a soporte técnico para que nos puedan orientar qué es lo que está sucediendo porque okay. debiera aparecerle ya el curso de principiantes 2 yo, teacher yo también tengo el mismo problema también ahorita, ahorita acabo de probar y si lo mismo me sale teacher oh, también yo también somos los marginados <risa> creo teacher, bueno teacher. De, de hecho no sé si nos averiguó de, lo de ayer que 
Sí, pero estoy esperando que me contesten. Estoy esperando ah, es que, que me contesten. Es que no sé, porque de hecho me acabo de dar cuenta en la lista y como es el primer día que, que, que logro ingresar al, al... Me acabo de dar Ajá. cuenta en la lista porque yo me esperaba escuchar en la A y al final, y incluso ya le iba a decir, dicho, no me mencionó, pero me dijo unos compañeros. Uh, ok. Estamos como agregados, entonces quizás como nos han... Como agregado, tampoco nos han activado la plataforma, supongo yo. Ah, yo creo que debieran poder accesar porque todos tenemos que presentar y, y yo tengo que presentar también calificaciones de parte de ustedes. Entonces, en la parte, eh, y ya les sugiero también que regrese otra vez a donde dice course o curso, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Para que también le pueda re. re Uh, reset, ajá, exactamente. Okay. Gracias, teacher. Ok, eh, de cualquier modo, entonces serían Félix, Edwin y Auri, ¿verdad? ¿Alguien sí, más sí. tiene problema? ¿O todos han podido accesar a su tarea? Ajá, sí, sí. you didn't you do your homework, right? <laughs> ok, well. We're going to start then. Vamos a comenzar entonces. We're going to start the class now. And I promise that I'm going to take care about that thing later on, okay? And we're going to fix that thing. Okay. Let me open this. Okay, here we are. Okay, let's see. Because we need to know what is the objective for this class. What is the objective for this class? Remember that we want to learn to describe activities, right? in our workplace. That is the main, uh, the specific objective of this unit, work-related um, activities. So just let me move this thing here. Okay. Then let's see, Felix, you are first over there so I can see you. Could you please read the class objective for today? Objective. Yes. Here. Um, participant uh, will, will be able to use simple present and statement and time expression. Okay. So it means that you are going to use simple present tense in sentences negative, affirmative, questions, yes, no, answers, and uh, information questions, and also using time expressions, time expressions, okay? So let's continue. The agenda for today. The agenda for today, it was that we are going to make a little feedback from the last class. We're gonna study some daily routines. We're gonna learn properly the time expressions and we're gonna have a conversation time in our breakout rooms. Then we're gonna have a little chat, okay? So this is the video conference number two and the date for today it is May the 25th of 2020, 2021, I'm sorry. May 25th, 
of 2021. La fecha se puede leer de varias maneras, okay? This is one, May the 25th of 2021. Or we could read May 25th of 2021, okay? Okay. Let's continue then. Can you tell me what activities can you see here? What activities? Tell Holy. me. Uh, remember present simple? Oh. Oh. The activity is? I make calls, right? We could also say I call clients, for example, okay? Another activity. I answer phone. Excellent. I answer the phone. Excellent. So you see, these are activities. Activities. We use a pronoun because we are saying the person who is doing the action. What if we say that person that it is in the, in the picture, okay? And we describe what this person is doing. Let's describe what this person is doing. What activity is he doing, okay? We could say, what does he do? Ah, he answers, remember, the phone. Uh-huh. What else? He makes calls. Excellent. Sorry. He makes, remember letter S because it's he, okay? Makes calls. Good. What else? He calls to clients. Good. He calls clients very good you see here we have activities this is what we did yesterday okay this is what we did yesterday now let's see next activity let me erase this i'm going to erase okay now let's see next one next activity okay Tell me activities that you think when you see this picture. I check the mail. Excellent. I check the email. Okay. Another activity? I send I the send email. email. Excellent. Uh huh. Let's imagine and let's create another one. I share email. Good. Email. I share emails. Good. What else? Answer the email. Okay. This is a very good example because when you answer or you send your answer, then we don't say answer uh, when we are talking about emails. The emails, you reply them, okay? The verb is reply, okay? Reply. So we are going to say, take note about this, okay? I reply emails. It means that you are sending an answer. I reply emails. Let's see who's sending this chat here. Excellent. I organize emails. Good. What else? 
I remember my letter Z. I said that I was going to connect another keyboard and I forgot. I organize meetings. I'm sorry, emails. I read. Excellent. Emails. I read emails. Okay. Then you see, for example, the secretary. Okay. Let's talk about the secretary doing this activity. What activity does a secretary do with a, with the emails? She. She. Checks, checks the email. Excellent. Uh huh. Another activity. She. She. She sends him. Excellent. Okay. Then you see and remember. I, you, we, they. We don't change the verbs. But for he, she, and it, we add letter S, okay? We add a letter S to the verb. The verb is check, then she checks. The verb is send, then she sends, correct? There you are. I'm going to erase now. And let's see the last one. Let's see one more. Okay. What do you see there? What activity are they doing? What What is Mary. the activity here? Meeting. Okay. Mary. It's a meeting, but what is the activity? I organize meeting. Excellent. Again, organize meetings. Okay. What? Uh, what else? I I attend a meeting. Okay. I attend. I attend. No S. I attend. Okay. A uh, meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, teacher. Uh, mm -hmm. I can use, uh, I have to pay bills uh, at the bank. Uh, that's an obligation. And yes, you can say that. It is correct. That sentence is correct. I have to pay bills at the bank. Yes, okay. correct. So that's an activity that you do. And your job. Yeah. Okay. 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 Very good. You, you said, you. I have to pay bills at the bank. Okay. And it is correct. It is correct. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Um, teacher, mm -hmm. um, Atilio Alvarado Magandi eh, ya se conectó una vez, pero está lloviendo fuerte y se fue la energía ahí donde él vive. Dice que va a tratar de conectarse de nuevo. Okay, let's pray for him to, to reconnect. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for, for letting me know. Okay, now let's think about her, this woman, this woman. Let's say an activity that she does, an activity that she does. Can you tell me? She organizing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Meeting. Okay, good. Remember letter S. Organizes. 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 Mm -hmm. Meetings. Okay, next. Another activity that she uh, can do in, in the meeting. Oh, very good. Okay. Very good. We could say she has a meeting every 
day, okay? She has a meeting every day. Then this is the verb have. For example, if I say here, I'm sorry. Let me select this and I go over here. And then I could write here, I have a meeting every day. Every day. Okay. Remember, the verb have for the third person changes. Changes to this form, has. Okay, have is for I, you, we, they. Has is for sh he, she, it. Correct? Uh, okay, then. We did a little feedback here, and now I want you to go to your menu. Go to page 10, please. Go to page 10. There you have an activity. Okay, you have an activity and it says, add two activities you do on a regular Monday. Add two activities you do on a regular Monday. Let's see. On Monday, I check my email, okay? Let's see Edwin. Shake my email. Hello. On Mondays, I check my email. My email. Check my email. Excellent. Um, now on Mondays, I on Monday, I I check my email. Number two. Hello. On Monday, I type a letter. Excellent. Let's see. Carla Veronica, number three. On Mondays, I write a report. Excellent. And it is report. Report. Okay. Report. Yes. Report. Yes. Let's see, Nancy, number four. On Mondays, I she got frozen. Nancy, you got frozen. <laughs> Could you please repeat? I attend and meeting. Excellent. Let's see, Carlos Eduardo, number five. On Monday, I call client. Excellent. Let's see Juan Carlos, number six. On Monday, I read a report. Excellent. Let's see Kevin, number seven. On Mondays, I visit clients. Client, client, okay. Let's see. Ana del Carmen, number eight. On Mondays, I or organize meetings. Excellent. Now, what do we want you to do? You need to add two more activities, two more activities. Number nine and number 10, okay? Number nine and number 10. Write two activities, okay? I'll give you a minute. Uh, on Monday, I uh, breakfast. Okay, good. Let's see. Number nine. 
I have or eat. What did you say? I'm sorry. Have or eat breakfast? Have. Okay. Okay, good. Now, number 10. Who wants to participate? I take a shower early. Okay, good. I will take a shower early. Okay, nice. There you are. Okay. Now let's go to the next activity. We want to finish this activity because this is just a review from yesterday, okay? Let's see. What do we have to do here? Complete the sentences. Complete the sentences with one activity from the box with one activity from the box, the box that we filled up, okay? So let's read the example, Wendy, please. Can you read this example? I call clients every day. I use the company phone. Excellent. So we are going to add the activity in this blanks. Okay, this is paces. And then we are going to say them. Okay. Um our secretary. Uh-huh. Report. Then she sends them via email. Okay, good. I saw someone yesterday that could do annotations on the screen. Um, let's see. Todos saben cómo hacer las anotaciones, digamos, que yo le digo, escríbalo usted en mi pantalla. ¿Saben cómo hacerlo? No? Ok. En la barra de arriba, en la barra de arriba les aparece que yo estoy compartiendo la pantalla, ¿verdad? Ahí donde dice que Carmen uh, o que Inglés Corporativo les está compartiendo la pantalla, ustedes se van a los tres puntitos que es un botón de menú donde dice más. Ok. Y luego dice anotación de los participantes. O dice anotar o anotación. ¿Pudieron hacerlo? ¿Lo encontraron? ¿La opción? Yes. Yes, teacher. Ok, who wants to go first? Yes, Carlos Eduardo, please. Number two. Excellent, Giovanni. Number three. Se me activó, pero una promía, no, no para escribir. Sorry. Excuse me. Ok, les va a aparecer luego una otra barra en donde dice texto, dibujar, estampar, eh, foco, les aparece el borrador, les aparece hasta eh, donde enviarlo todo a un tarrito de basura on a trash can. So everybody, uh, excellent Re report. This was Wendy, I saw, right? This is Wendy. Yeah, Wendy. Wendy, did you write it? Okay, who wants to try number three? Uh, 
la número tres me toca a mí. Ok, if you, yes, ok. Go ahead. Wendy, right? Quiero que todos lo intenten, por favor, porque así pueden aprender a escribir. Teacher, yo estoy desde mi teléfono y no me da esas opciones. No le da la opción. Sí, Ajá. desde el teléfono sí. no se puede. Sí. Ajá. Ah, ok. Sí, tampoco a mí. Igual teacher. yo, teacher. Yo soy también del teléfono y no, no, no me da esas opciones okay. tampoco. Ok, ok. Pero sí les da la opción, pero es a través de otra forma. Les da la opción con un lapicito que aparece en un círculo. Ok. Ustedes le dan clic en la pantalla del teléfono y aparece un lapicito en un círculo. Ahí le dan ustedes y ahí pueden escribir, solo que no les da todas las opciones que les da en la computadora. Excellent. Who wrote this one? I check it once or twice a day. I use my laptop computer. Do you see? Very good. Así está bien. Yes, uh, you are just missing a letter C here. The spelling of check only. Mm -hmm. Our secretary sends emails. Um, not sends because sends is here. Okay. So Anna told us wrote, right? Uh, right. You remember? Okay, remember, write a report or type a letter. Type a letter. Number two, type a letter. Right? Number two, type a letter. Okay, here look that they are talking in plural. Okay, they are talking in plural. So I'm going to type it for everybody here, okay? Our secretary types letters, okay? Letters in plural, letters in plural. Why? Because here it says them, sends them. So it's not only one letter, they are more than one, okay? So our secretary type letters. Then she sends them via email. Number three, let's see. I check it once or twice a day. I use my laptop computer. Okay, this is a very good one, but we need to go to the, to the box and see, write a report, okay? write a report. I write a report twice a day. Okay? You get it? Me siguen? Yes. Okay. Everybody? Esta, yes. esta respuesta está muy buena. It says, I check it once or twice a day. And it, ha it makes sense, right? It makes sense. But what? What does she check, right? So we're going to use the idea from, I'm going to raise this one, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, and then, uh-huh. Write a report. Excellent, I write a report, okay. I write a report twice a day. I use my laptop computer. Now, number four, number four, let's go to the box. I have I, a meeting. Excellent, attend a meeting.
Okay, I have to attend a meeting every Monday at eight. It could be at 8 a.m. or at 8 p.m. We don't know because it doesn't say. Okay, let's see number five. Who wants? Organize a meeting. Organize meeting. Organize meetings. Okay, very good. Let's go to the box and see. Number eight, organize meeting. Very good. Oh. All clients. I'm sorry? Okay, number six, you said something? Call clients, you said, right? Call clients. Who said call clients? Can they call clients? No. Okay, thank you, Anna. But now what we need here is your own activity, your own activity. So can you tell me an example here to make the number six? Example. Anna? Read, read a report, a report. I read a report when? Is it okay on Mondays? On Friday, on Friday. Okay. Okay. I read that report on Fridays. Very good. There you are. So we finished this activity. Do you see? So number one, can you read it please, Juan Carlos? Number one, the example. I call clients every day. I use the company phone okay everybody activate your audio and repeat after me i call clients every day i call, call clients, clients every day. day i use the company's phone i use, use the company's, the company's, company's phone. 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 phone number two number two our secretary, our secretary types secretary letter, type letter. Then she sends them via email. Then she sends them via email. Number three. I write a report twice a day. Twice a day. I use my laptop computer. I use my laptop computer. Number four. I have to attend a meeting every Monday at eight. I have to attend a every Monday at eight. Okay, number five. Celia organized meeting. The meetings take place in the auditorium. Meetings take place in the auditorium. Number six. I read a report. Nice. Nice. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Let me erase this. Okay, then it comes, it comes here, the question, right? The question. This is a question that we usually, um, that we usually are asking, okay? We are always asking 
something about someone else, okay? This is very important that you um, take note, okay? And let's see. Does the secretary check reports? Everybody, repeat after me. Does the secretary check reports? Does the secretary check reports? Does the secretary check reports? Okay, now what do you think? What do you think? Yes, she does. Okay, good. Very good. Yes. She does. No, she doesn't. Do you, and your job and your workplace? The secretary doesn't check reports. Okay, then it says, uh, it was Edwin who said, right? So she doesn't. Okay. There you are. Now let's think. Does the chief mechanic check reports? Chief mechanic check reports. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. What do you think? In your job, do you have mechanics? Do you think? Okay. If in your job, the chief mechanic check reports, then you answer positively, right? Then you say, yes, he does. But if in your job, you don't have mechanics or maybe the mechanics don't check reports, then you say, no, he doesn't. Okay. No, he doesn't. And you see, we are using the third person. The third person is does. It's made by does, okay? So remember, at the beginning, does requires a short answer. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't, okay? When does is at the beginning, we answer with a short answer. Yes, he does. Or no, he doesn't. Okay? Do you have any question about this? No questions? Thank you very much, Felix. I saw your answers on the chat. Very good. Now let's see, do you check your email every day? Do you check your email every day, Ana Cristina? Yes, I do. Okay, okay. thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's see. Mm. Omar, does your boss check his or her email in the morning? Uh, no, he doesn't. Excellent, excellent. Now let's see. Um, Giovanni, do you check your email every day? No, I don't. You don't? Okay. Let's see. Um, Kevin, do you check your email every day? Yes, he does. You. 
do you check your email every day? Oh. Kevin? Yes, yes, I do. Okay, thank you very much, Kevin. Now let's see, Wendy, do you check your email every day? Yes, I do. Okay, very good. Let's see, Audi, does your boss check the email in the morning? No, he doesn't. Okay, very good. Now let's see, we're gonna see another question i think it, it's coming here here we have three questions please read the questions read the questions and think about your answer i'm gonna give you one minute no two minutes okay two minutes everybody answering think about the question and then you answer Todos pensando, todos pensando las tres preguntas. Okay, let's see number one. Do you consider that it is important to check your email every day and then you ask why? But we are going to choose here Wendy and Vladimir. Wendy and Vladimir. And Wendy asked the question and Vladimir gives an answer, okay? Wendy, ask question number one and Vladimir answers the question. Do you, um, no sé cómo se dice ese consider. Consider. Con, do you consider that it is Important to check your email every day. Why? Or why? Mm -hmm. Vladimir. Tendría no 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 lo entendí muy bien. Okay, 
Is it important to check your email every day? Uh, what do you think? Is uh, important or it is uh, not so important? Uh, yes, important. Okay, then. Can you tell us why it is important? Oh. Uh, uh, no. Can I help you, teacher? Excuse me? Can I help you to Vladimir? Vladimir? No, we cannot hear Vladimir. Can I help you to Vladimir? Help, help. Okay, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, please, please do. Okay, uh, because it is important uh, to be informed. To be informed, yes. It is important to be informed. And now let's see. Maria, Maria Elena, what do you think? Um, yes, I do. That is important because um, some emails have important information. Very good. Now let's see number two. Ana Cristina, please read the question and, and Carlos Eduardo, give us an answer. Do you consider that it is important to check your mail every day? Okay, number two, okay. Ana. Number two, Ana. Okay. Do you have an institutional email account? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Car Carlos is having trouble because of the rain. Let's see, Jonathan. Give us an answer, us an please. Answer, please. Jonathan? Dim. Give us give us an answer for the question number two. Uh, do you have an institutional mail? Yes, yes, I do. Okay. Now let's see, Felix, please read number three. The answer. Yes, please. No, no, I don't. Okay. Everybody, I want to hear your answers. Do you use your personal email address for work-related activities? Your personal email address. Do you use it for work? No, I don't. Okay. Let's see, Wendy. Do you? Or don't you? No. No, I don't. No. Okay, no, Wendy. Excellent. Let's see. Now let's continue. Everything okay here? Or do you have a question about this? Okay, we're going to the uh, to the topic for today, and it is time expressions. Time expressions. Just let's see this. What do you think is early? Why, what do you think is early? For example, you say, hey, we're gonna meet us early. Please come to the meeting early. Or maybe call me early. Or for example, you say, send me the email early. So what does it mean? What does early mean? I, I breakfast early in the morning. Okay, early could be in the morning, right? Could be in the morning. Yes, that's in the Spanish. That's in the Spanish, but I need an explanation in English. Let's try, let's try, let's try. For example, 
Do you see the clock here? Do you see the clock here? Usually, usually early is during the morning, right? Usually, usually. It doesn't mean that always is going to be used in the morning. You can use early anytime, depending on the activity that you are going to do, okay? Depende de la actividad que usted haga y de su horario is early or late. It depends on your schedule, okay? It depends on your schedule. So let's think, let's think. It could be every day, early, early every day, okay? Or it could be late every day. For example, let's use the example that someone gave us and it was, I have I, breakfast late every day, for example. This is an example. Okay, can you give me another example? I go to the bed I late go, at, mid, at night. Very good. Very good. I go to bed late at night. Very good. Now, let's see, Alejandra, give us an example using early and late. Tener sueño. No. <laughs> Who said so? Alejandra. Eh, una pregunta. Early significa en español? Uh, they said in Spanish, but we're in a good. Let's try. Let's try. Early means in a very short time or the first thing you do. Okay. Early is the opposite of late. Is the opposite of late. Late could be, uh, for example, if I go to work and I start work at eight, I have to be 7.50, right? So it will be that I am early. 7.50 is early. 5 a.m. is early. 4.30 a.m. is very early. Okay. You got it, Alejandra? Alejandra? Teacher. Uh huh. Remind you to take your call. Remind me? Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Taking the attendance. Yes, you're right. Okay. Alejandra, we're going to. Um, Take a break okay. here and we are going to take the attendance, okay? Vamos a hacer un pequeño descanso y vamos a um, tomar la asistencia. Take the attendance. Okay, there we go. Okay, thank you, Alejandra, you said present. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez, very good. Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales. No, Alexis? Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Okay, Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Okay. Sí. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Sí. Present teacher. Okay. Very good. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Present. Okay. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sanchez. Present. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. Present. Jose Atilio Mangandi Alvarado. Not, not yet, right? 
Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. Luis Roberto, are you there? María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present teacher. Okay. Nancy Ivette Tobar Rivera. Omar Alfredo. Okay, Nancy, thank you. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Present teacher. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present teacher. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Present teacher. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Félix Moisés Blanco Araniba. Present. Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Present. Okay. There we are. Thank you very much for reminding me. Okay, let's continue guys. Let's continue and we're almost done with the explanations and then we are going to the breakout rooms, but just let me go here. Here's where we were, okay. I just want you to check the bold, the letters in bold here. In the morning, everybody, in the morning. Everybody, please repeat after me. In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. At noon. At noon. At noon. At noon. At noon. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. In the evening. In the evening. In the evening. 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 I got to work too got late. To work too late. Okay. Very good. Very good. I want you to go to the manual. And We're going to learn to answer this question. What do you do and what does she or he do? Okay. So in this case, we are going to practice this conversation. Sonia and Matt, if you see this is in page 11. Okay. We are in page 11. I'm going to read it and then we are going to practice it. Okay. What does Dominic do? What does Dominic do? Well, she's a secretary. Well, she's a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day? Exactly. Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she's the first person to arrive in the office. What does Dominic do? Well, she's a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She's a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she's the first person to arrive in the office. Now, I'm going to be Sonia and everybody is going to be Matt, okay? Correct? 
What does Dominic do? Well, she's well, a secretary. She's a... Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your oh, point. I see your point. Uh, what well, type well, of report? Reports and sent to me every day. Every day. Every day. She's she's a working a working woman. Woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the, 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 the office. Okay, now I'm going to be Matt and you are going to be Sonia. Everybody, please activate your audio and let's start. One, two, and three. What does Dominic do? Well, she's a secretary. Oh, 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 I, I see. Well, that's that's every day. Every day, every day. Every Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Yeah, she's the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, now, I want to hear Wendy and Anna. Wendy, Sonia, Anna, Matt. Anna Cristina or Anna del Carmen? I'm sorry, Anna, Anna del Carmen. <laughs> <laughs> A question, Anna. Okay. Oh. okay, Anna del Carmen and Wendy. Wendy, Sonia, Anna del Carmen, Matt. Okay. What does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she does reports and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, very good. Everybody, let's say absolutely. Everybody, please repeat. Absolutely. 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 Okay, it means yes, of course, at all, okay? There is no question about that. Absolutely, okay? Absolutely. For sure, positively, absolutely. That means absolutely, okay? Now let's hear Kevin and Jonathan, please. Kevin is Sonia in me mat. Okay, good. Okay. Hey, um, what does Dominic do? Well, she's a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she type report and say the made every day. She's a hard working woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she's the first person to arrive in the office. Very good. Excellent. Now, let's see. Nancy and Astrid. Nancy is Sonia and Astrid is Matt. Okay. What does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. <clears throat> oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she type reports and send email every day. She is a working woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Thank you. Okay, very good. Now, do you get the meaning of early here? 
Now, do you understand what early means? Everybody? Early, the opposite of late. Let's imagine. If they say, does she arrive early? And they say, no, she doesn't. Then she arrives late, okay? That's the meaning here. You get it? Yes. Okay, very good. Now, let's continue with this because I want you to work in something, okay? Now, let's select the correct form of the verbs to complete the sentences, okay? You have to circle the correct form of the verb for she, 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 okay? Number one, what do you think is the correct form of the verb? She, she types. Types. Two. types. Types. She types reports. Very good. Types. Remember, letter S at the end of the verb. Very good. Number two. That's. 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 Okay, I want to hear you. Number two, number two. No, she arrived late. Late. Very late. Very good, very good. Now, number three. That's she arrived late. Arrive or arrives? Arrives. Arrives. Are you Without sure? Arise. Arise. No letter S at the end. Arise. Yeah. It's, question. Arise. it's a question and we're using does, okay? So okay. we use the infinitive arise. form of the verb. So in this the case, we'll be arise. very good. So number three. Das, 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 Again. Das, she erased early. Early. Very good. Very good. Very good. Does she arrive early? Does she arrive early? Okay. Remember, it's not arrive, it's arrive. Okay. Arrive. Arrive. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, let's go and see these boxes, okay? This is kind of grammar structure, okay? This is kind of grammar structure. And this is for you to uh, uh, understand better. The singular, the singular, it's he, she, it. And the plural, they, we, and also you, because you, it's also ustedes, right? And plural, you can be used for plural or for singular too, okay? So in this case, the third person of the plural is they, they, okay, they. They can be women and they can be men, okay? They is for both, for women and for men, okay? There are some words or some name nouns that we don't know if it is male or female, woman or men, okay? Woman, female, men, male, okay? They doesn't have the difference. We don't know if they are women or men, okay? But let's see, let's see here. He, she, it, checks, goes, and likes, correct? Yes. Okay, the third person for plural is they. They could be my coworkers, 
or the employees or the buses or the cars or because it could be used for for objects too right for objects for things we could also be talking about animals right and plural and we're gonna say they too okay so let's continue let's continue remember that for they we don't add letter s for they we don't add letter s now continuing here these are the questions that we were talking about and this is very important this is very important can you please read this giovanni this box to your simple person. Mm -hmm. Daily activities, routine, and schedule events. Okay. When do we use simple present? Ah, when we want to talk about daily activities or when we want to say the things that we do every day or in a certain time, in a certain period, in a certain day of the week. So they are called routines because you do that thing day after day and time after time. For example, the first things that you do in the morning. Can you tell me about your morning routine? Morning routine? Let's think about the morning routine, okay? Everybody. Let's think about the morning routine. I wake up at, what time do you, get, do you wake up? It's 3 a.m. Okay. Bye. Five, okay, very good. You write down there 5 a.m., okay? Okay, very good. And then what do you do? And then, I take a shower. On the bed? You oh, first no. have to get up, okay? And then I get up. Yes, you and get up. Uh-huh. I go to the bathroom to take okay. a shower. Excellent, very good. I get up. What time do you get up? Do you get up at the same time that you wake up? For example, the alarm clock starts and you just turn it off and then you get up. Do you usually do that? No, uh, right. You stay a little. It's difficult. Right. Yeah, it's very difficult. <laughs> yes, you're right. 6.40. Okay, let's say 6.40. Okay, very good. Uh-huh. And then I take it, I get up at, remember at, okay? Because that's the preposition for time. Now let's see, I, uh-huh, take a shower. Uh-huh, and then what do you do after taking a shower? Seven o'clock. Okay, that's the time, but uh, from now on, let's, uh, let's think about the activities that you do, okay? Okay. And I brush my teeth. Very good. Uh-huh. And then? And what then do you do? I, get, I get dressed. Very good. And then? And then I, I take oh, breakfast. Breakfast. Okay. Prepare. Prepare my breakfast. Mm -hmm. Prepare and help. Or do you take your breakfast uh, to your work? For yes, I take, I, I take my breakfast to, to my work. Okay, I prepare my breakfast to go, okay? To go. Okay, do you see that usually everybody's going to ask for the things that you are used to do? 
So this is the way to present or this is the way to express the things that you do every day, time after time. So it's the same at work. It's the same at work. And what is the question? The question is, what do you do? Okay. Do you remember that in the first module, the answer, what do you do? Uh, I'm a um, teacher, right? This is one answer. This is one answer. But the people, when asked, what do you do? What they are really asking is, what are your functions? What are your activities? Okay, what are your activities? Then you could say, I'm a teacher. I um, have, um, let's see, I teach uh, uh, English, right? I teach English from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., right? Now, let's see, from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Okay, this is just an example. Now, I want you to think about the things that you do in your job the activities that you do in your job. Sometimes we have events, okay, a schedule. If you see here, the simple present is used for schedule events, schedule events. It means timetables. Timetables means, do you remember when you were at school? When you were at school, do you remember? They say at 7 a.m. math. At 10 a.m. recess, okay? That's a timetable. That's a timetable. You have the time and the activity. The time and the activity. So now let's think about this. Let's think about this. I'm going to ask you, for example, Veronica, what do you do? Carla Veronica, I'm sorry. Yes. What do you do? I am sorry. I am secretary. Okay. But what do you do? Uh, I secretary from seven to five p.m. Okay. I work. Uh huh. From this. 7 a.m. Uh -huh. to 5 p.m. Okay. And what activities do you do? I check the report. I answer the phone. Do you see, this is part of the answer of what do you do? What do you do? For example, we want to know what does the secretary do? Uh, then we ask, what does the secretary do? Do you remember the conversation? What does Dominic do? Okay, now we are okay. We had some interference, right? Okay, let's continue with this. Let's continue with this because in our manual, we want to do that. We want to do that. But let's see just one more example that they are giving us here in the manual. Okay. It says, complete the paragraph with the words in the box. Make sure to write them in the correct form. Complete the paragraph with the words in the box. Make sure to write them in the correct form. Okay, now 
everybody reading the paragraph. We have to write these verbs in the spaces in blank, okay? From Monday to Friday, Domix go at five. Uh, where does she go? Wake up. Is it okay? Wake up. Wake up. Are you sure? From Monday to Friday, Dominic wake up wake at up. 5 a.m. She go to work. Wake and up. Okay, but let's remember the correct form of the verb. Dominic wakes up. Yes, wakes up. Okay, because it's she. Okay, now Dominic wakes up at 5 a.m. Now, continuing with this, she? She, has, she go, go. She go. Go. She go to work. Go. She go to work. Go. Go. She go to work. She, go she to goes. Work. Exactly, goes. But in this case, just let me explain something. For the third person, the verb is go, right? For the third person, we add a letter E and a letter S, okay? Goes, goes, okay? She goes to work. Check, check. Chicos, hay un sonido, hay un sonido de un cable. Ah, creo que era el mío. <laughs> Hay un sonido de un cable. Creo que era el mío, ¿verdad? Okay. Yes. 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 Se había metido entre la mesa y yo. Okay. Now, let's continue. Let's continue here. She checks. She checks. She checks her. She checks. Her okay. email. Uh -huh. And um, call. 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 Mm -hmm. Lisa and Claudia work with them. Work is with Dominic. Okay, work or works? Work. Work. Work, work because work. Work. It is they. Correct. Okay. Uh huh. They go. Mm -hmm. Go to how mm -hmm. go. go home. Got. Go home. Uh, yes. Dominic, go home. Okay. <laughs> go. 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 Okay, now, always remember for she, he, it, we add a letter S and some verbs change like have, has, right? And other verbs change the ending. For example, go, goes. 
let's imagine that she is answering emails. Ah, then we could say replies, okay? Replies, she replies emails and they reply emails, okay? This is for you to see the grammar here, okay? Or the spelling in this case, the spelling. Reply, replies. Go, okay, add letter S. Have, what is the third person for have? Have. Excellent. What is the third has. person of a person of do? Does. Correct. There you are. There you are. Okay. Let's continue with this. Do you have any question about this? <laughs> No questions? Okay. And here we have the time expressions for the regular activities, okay? <laughs> And let me show you something too, okay? Okay. For a schedule events, for a schedule events, so it means that there is an ending date. There is a final date. Um, Deadline, deadline, it means deadline. It means the last date, okay? It means the last date to turn in something. For example, to turn in a report or maybe to turn in or to send emails in on a specific day. Right, so it could be, for example, every day, every day. We transform every day in daily, daily. It means once a day, once a day, okay? Daily, every week, it's Weekly. Weekly. Mm -hmm. Every month is what is every month? Monthly. Excellent. Monthly. Mm -hmm. Every year. Every year. Yearly. Yearly. Okay, and what about hour? Every hour, every oh, hour. Hourly. Oh, hourly, hourly, okay. You see? <sighs> Things that you do with a schedule, okay? With a schedule. It means that, for example, your boss tells you, hey, I need you to write this report on Friday. Only one report. Every Friday, I have to turn in this report. So if I do it every Friday, it means that I do it weekly from Friday to Friday, from Friday to Friday, right? Now, it means that you are not going to fail with that, okay? 
no missing any Friday, right? So. Okay, now let's go to the timetables. Timetables. This is a timetable. What is a timetable? It's a box. Okay, it's a box where you write the time and the activity. So it's a schedule. Okay, it's a schedule table. So let's do the first one. Let's do the first one. Okay, time. Let's see, eight a.m. Okay, what do you do at eight at eight a.m. at eight a.m. I'm sorry. What do you do at eight a.m. I check the email. Okay. I check the email. Okay. Now we have 15 minutes. We're going to take five minutes. Five minutes. I'm going to um, send you to the breakout room and you are going to continue with this, okay? You are going to continue the timetable. You okay. ask your partner, what do you do at, and you say the time. And then the other partner answer um, answers, I have lunch, for example. I have lunch because they ask me, what do you do at 12? What do you do at 12? And today, ah, uh, then you say, I have lunch, okay? What do you do at 1 p.m.? Uh, then you could say, I restart work or I go back to work, okay? There you go. Five minutes only, okay? Hello, Wendy. Hello. Es que tengo problemas con el audio y la cámara. Pero le escucho. Ah, ok. Sí. Entonces tenemos que decir nuestras actividades, ¿verdad? Ah, en, en horario correspondiente. Son cuatro espacios, me parece. Decimos dos actividades cada uno. Vaya. 
Um, I I am um, I get up by by I am I okay hello everyone <laughs> Carlita and Wendy okay the activity the activity is that for example Carla is going to ask Wendy a question okay for example Carla asks. What do you do at 6 a.m.? Okay. And then Wendy is going to say, I wake up, for example. Okay. Okay. Ready? There you go. Thank you. Okay. And this is here. What do you, what do you, Cuando, como usted me estaba diciendo qué es lo que hacía a las 5 de la mañana, entonces yo le voy a preguntar, what do you do at 5 a.m.? Uh, I get up. I get up. What do you do at 7 a.m.? I, I go my work. I go to the work. I go to work. I go to work. Okay, continue, girls. You are doing a good job. Okay. Gracias. Dice, espera, espera, espera. dice, hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid? Hey, hey. Hello. Uh, hello. Hola. Hello, Alejandra. Hi. Hello, Carlos. Uh, this is not the page that we are. Uh, I think it's the it's up up. Let me see. Scroll up. Okay. The this one, number five. It will be page 13 and the, the activity number five. What do you have to do? You have to ask, for example, Carlos ask Alejandra and say, what do you do at 5 a.m., for example? Okay. And then Alejandra is going to answer, I get up or I wake up, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, entonces creamos cinco preguntas. Yes, sí. only only letter A, and it's just a conversation. For example, Alejandra, what do you do at 1 p.m.? Um, time. Uh, I? Uh, I? I 6 a.m.? No, 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 no. What do you do know. at 1 p.m.? What do you do at 1 p.m. in your job, for example? Um, what activity? Activity, um, um, organize my house and in the morning and- No, no, at I 1 p.m., at 1 p.m. Uh, a la una de la tarde, at 1 ah, p.m. A la una de la tarde, uh, my break in uh, my work. Okay, then, then you will say, I take a break. Okay, I okay. take a break. Good. Now you ask Carlos, Alejandra. Ask I go, Carlos. I go to lunch. Oh, very good. Very good. So, Alejandra, ask the question to Carlos. What do you do? I 
Entiendo, teacher. Ok. Eh, tú, tú haces una pregunta. What do you do? O sea, tú me estás preguntando y, y yo te no, tengo que eh, eh, tú tienes que hacer la pregunta y yo la tengo que contestar. You have to make ah, a okay. question, Alejandra, to Carlos. Ok, yo te pregunto. Eh, yo digo, what do you do? What do you do on... Y tú dices, ¿a qué hora? At, at. At, at perdón. Uh, tengo que responder ahorita algo. Uh, tú tienes que hacer la pregunta. What do you do? Tú me preguntas a mí. What do you do at 10 a.m.? Siempre. Ok. What do you do at? Um, y, di, y diga la hora. And say the time. Um, 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Um, I go to work. I go to work. Sería eh, la respuesta sería no solo I got to work, teacher, sería este, o, o sí, podemos contestar solo así. Yes, you can say that. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, it, for example, I leave home. I leave oh, home. I, uh, Or maybe okay. it's the time that you start work. Okay. I, I start, start work. work. 8, 8 a.m. I, mm -hmm. I go to, to work at okay. 7.30 a.m. Okay, yes, then you leave home at 7.30, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, there you are. Thank you. Okay, okay. continue, uh, continue. I'm going to go to another room, uh, okay? Thank you. What did you do? Uh, thank you. Thank you. Hello, Carla. Did you finish? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. You were working with Wendy. Wendy yes. is your partner? Okay. Yes. Did you finish? Yes. Okay, okay. Okay, let's hear Carla and Wendy. Number one, on, only one example. Um, le pregunto a ella o ella me va a preguntar. Okay. Um, Wendy, uh, what do you do at, at 7 a.m.? I go to the work. Okay, I go to work. I go to work. Okay, very good. Now let's see, Anna, who was your partner? Ana del Carmen, Ana Cristina, teach. Ana del Carmen, have here. Uh, I'm uh, sorry, again, again. I'm sorry. Uh, in the, uh, Oscar, creo. Oscar. No, no remember. Omar. 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 Oh, Omar. Okay. Can you please And ask this... a question to Omar? And Omar, please answer the question. Okay. Uh, the question. Yes, please, Ana. Yes. Ana del Carmen. Uh, what did you do? Uh, um, on Sunday. Uh, 6 a.m. Oh, um, I, I, I listen. Uh, I listen to music uh, or uh, maybe <laughs> uh, check me my Facebook. Very good, excellent. You see, this was the activity. Okay, this was the activity. 
a timetable contains the time and the activities, the time and the activities. Remember when you were at school, right? When you were at school. And also in our jobs, in our jobs, we have a time for everything that we need to do, right? For example, you have the entrance time, okay? Or the start time. And then you have your break time. Then you have a stipulated that at certain time you go to have lunch and then you have another break for coffee and then you go home, right? Do you remember that? In your job, you have a schedule, a schedule that can be a timetable, okay? Time and activity, time and activity and one box. Okay, now it's 9.58, okay? It's 9.58, so let me take the attendance, okay? Today, Nancy stays with me after the class, okay? Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present. Okay, Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales. <laughs> Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Present. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. Present. José Atilio Mangandi Alvarado. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Ok, Astrid. Uh, ok, Karina. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Nancy Ibeto Rivera. Present teacher. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Present. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present teacher. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Present. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. Present. Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Present. Okay. I see you're happy. <laughs> Present. Okay. A mí no me agarra el micrófono. Okay, no happy. problem, Astrid. It was Astrid, right? Or Raquel. Andy. Uh -huh. Teacher okay. sin inter me quedé por segundos, pero oh, la asistencia. Okay. Okay, yes, I took the attendance and I checked that you were here, okay? I, I checked. Okay, guys, it's 10.01. Time is over. Time is over and Nancy stays with me tonight after we finish, okay? Okay. Okay. Then have a good night, everyone, and let's good meet night. us tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night, sir. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye. Goodbye. Good night, sir. Thank you. My pleasure.
Bye, Jonathan. Okay. Hello, Nancy. Hello, teacher. Okay. Do you have any question? Um, como es segundo día, eh, me estoy adaptando a su metodología, vea, pero honestamente lo que a mí me cuesta es la pronunciación, vea. Entonces, no sé si, si me puede dar algún tips para eso o me puede decir más o menos cómo, cómo también memorizar algunas palabras, vea, porque yo sé que las conozco, pero no sé cómo conjugarlas muchas veces. Entonces, okay. eso sí me está costando bastante. Y, ok. No sé si me podría ayudar en eso. Okay, sure, no problem, no problem. Okay, when you want to speak, you just speak, okay? Open your mouth, open your mouth. That's the best, <laughs> yes, that's the best advice that I can give you because when we pronounce, we open our mouth, okay? Open our mouth and close, okay? Close our mouth. Porque en nuestro idioma hay, en nuestro idioma español, hay palabras que, por ejemplo, si terminan en la letra M, uh, bueno, no tenemos palabras que terminen en letra M, ¿ok? Pero en inglés hay varias palabras que terminan en letra M, ¿ok? O por lo menos el sonido, ¿right? Por ejemplo, when we say my name... Ah, then I have to open my mouth. And then I have to close my mouth. Mm. Ah, then I have to open and then close, right? Yeah. Okay. No. Uh -huh, okay. Close. Para pronunciar bien, usted tiene que abrir su boca y luego cerrarla donde hay que cerrarla. Y lo mejor es aprender bien el abecedario, ¿ok? You learn the ABC and then you are going to remember the sounds in your brain. For example, puede ir a cantar la cancioncita, right? Like ah, sí. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. If you see the, the tongue, ¿eh? The teeth, they are very important for English pronunciation, okay? For English pronunciation. And every letter has a sound. Cada letra tiene un sonido. So, for example, mm -hmm. let's say A, A, B, C, D, D. 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 D, your D. tongue, ajá, su lengua D. tiene que estar atrás de los dientes y pegado al paladar. D. D. Ajá, porque D. nosotros la letra D la pronunciamos entre los dientes. Dedo, ¿verdad? Sí. Dedo. Pero en inglés no. La letra D es atrás la lengua. D. Okay. D. Como forzándola. D. Ajá, pero adentro su lengua. Entonces, cada letra tiene un sonido. Y eh, bueno, tiene su nombre, por ejemplo, letra, usted dice A, B, C, D, ¿verdad? D es el nombre, pero ¿cómo se pronuncia? D, D, D. Entonces, existe una materia en inglés que se llama Letters and Sounds. Le recomiendo que vea videos de esa materia, Letters and mm -hmm. Sounds. Letter and sounds. Claro que sí, of course. Letter, letters. letters and sounds. Sonidos. S O U N D S. Letters and sounds. Ajá. Y eso eh, usted va a encontrar para niños pequeños, for little kids. Y eso le va a favorecer a usted porque es sencillo, ¿ok? Y ahí usted va a ir desarrollando poco a poco. Ahí le va a dar claridad. Va a decir, ah, por eso suena así. Ah, por eso se dice así. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Porque los niños, eh, bueno, nosotros tenemos la barrera de que queremos leer para saber cómo dice. ¿Sí o no? Siempre sí, que, sí. es que no, 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 no como no, lo oigo y no, ay, ¿cómo se escribe? Para saber qué es, ¿verdad? Entonces, esa es nuestra barrera como adultos. 
pero los niños, ellos no tienen esa barrera, ellos no saben leer, right? Ellos no, no, they can't read, they can't read, and they don't know the letters, they don't know this is A, this is B, this is, no, they just hear and say, hear and say. Entonces, okay. eso le recomiendo, que okay. vea letters and sounds, porque es escuchar y decir, escuchar y decir. Ok, eso le va a ayudar para la pronunciación. Ok. Ok, teacher, sí. Ok, sí, ahora, sí. para memorizar, para memorizar, to memorize, the yes, best yes. advice I can give you is, for example, think about family of words. Family of words. For example, for example, si usted va a pensar en una familia de palabras, ok, for example, I, o por grupos o por temas, ok, for groups or themes, for example, uh, let me see, hmm. Hmm. for example, I say, uh, I'm sorry, for example, I think about no voy a hablar de familia todavía, voy a hablar eh, de um, grupos o temas, grupos de cosas relacionadas, related, right? Y, um, uh, for example, clothes, ok, clothes. Ah, entonces usted va a recordar que todo lo que voy a aprender en este momento, lo voy a relacionar que todo se utiliza puesto, right? De ropa. Then I, I think blouse, trousers, pants, shorts, and then you think about your body to remember, right? Blouse, and then I say makeup, glasses, and uh, ring, um, shorts, pants, skirts. Y ahí va aumentando el vocabulario de acuerdo a cómo sus partes del cuerpo tienen que cubrirse, right? Okay. okay, eso okay. es asociando, okay, asociando, to memorize, to memorize. Mm -hmm. But there are other, for example, the family of uh, words, familias de palabras. Por ejemplo, nosotros en español utilizamos las familias de palabras como árbol, arboleda, right? Um, ¿Qué podemos decir de árbol? Bueno, y um, el plural, árboles, right? Uh, eso es en Spanish. Haga lo mismo en inglés. Do the same thing in English. For uh -huh. example, if you think in a verb, si usted piensa en un verbo, okay, then you think about el presente, el pasado, el futuro, okay, y lo asocia de esa manera, pero es la manera de memorizar. For example, the verb do. The verb do. Ah, then I say do does family right do does uh did done ah then i remember four words okay so i remember four words and uh, i remember remember no i'm sorry recuerdo cuatro palabras verdad mm -hmm. recuerdo cuatro palabras como ah utilizando los tiempos de los verbos ah okay ya sé cómo se dice right that's Excellent. the other advice that i can give you And the other is speaking, speaking, not thinking in Spanish, not, not thinking in thinking in Spanish. For example, when you watch a movie, when you watch a movie, uh, change the settings instead of have subtitles in Spanish, uh, uh, set it up in subtitles in English. Then you are going to hear and associate how That's it, uh, how they write what they are saying, right? So you associate, you associate. Podría ser en inglés y traducción en español o viceversa. No, 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 no. English, English. Todo English. Yes. Uh, audio English? Uh, no, the closed English. captions or subtitles English? Ah, okay. 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 Mm -hmm. You can uh, set the closed captions. ¿Ha visto el CC? Sí. En los videos, CC, closed captions. Close 
o la cláusula, ¿verdad? O no sé cómo se llama en español, pero closed captions means that uh, it gets everything that I am saying, it's appearing down, right? Okay, then you can use that. You can use that even though it has um, several mistakes, but you get a, get the idea, okay? You okay. get the idea. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> yeah, and you're going to see that it is fun. It is fun because it's not that at the first time. Esa es otra cosa que nosotros queremos que a la primera. No, mm -hmm. we have to practice. We have to practice and do it again and again and again. And I make mistakes, then I correct the mistakes, then add more vocabulary. And that's the process. Okay, that is the process. Yes, yes, you have to repeat and doing the same thing time after time. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay. Nancy. Thank you, Erda. Thank you. Okay, is That's there anything happening. else? Okay, is there anything else I can help you with? Matt? Is, okay, don't worry. Is there anything else? Algo más? Anything else that you want me um, to help you? Creo, um, creo que no, pero... Okay, then. Okay, then the answer is no, no, thank you. Okay. <laughs> then you say, just say that. Uh -huh. Esa es una de las cosas que nosotros queremos eh, complicarla, ok? Complicarla como decir, tal como yo hablo de avanzado en español, si soy nativo, así quiero yo traducirlo. No, lleva, vamos a lo simple, lo simple. Y la unidad más pequeña para poder dar una idea es una oración, ok? Una oración. ¿Y cuál es la oración? Un pronombre, un verbo, que es una acción, ¿verdad? Y un complemento. Un complemento. Fácil. Hay que irse a lo básico para poder eh, avanzar. Ganar un poquito más. Exacto, porque no vamos a empezar de un solo hablando literariamente, ¿verdad? Right? Sí. Ajá. Sí, pero... No se frustre. Don't get frustrated. Don't get... Aquí me pongo nerviosa. Go on, go on. That's the point. That go on. Uh -huh. Keep up. Keep up. Trying and trying and doing your best. Okay. Yes. Yes. yes okay, Nancy. Okay, Nancy. Then, well, um, let's um, meet us tomorrow then. Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, see you tomorrow. You. You're welcome. My pleasure. It's my pleasure. Okay, um, then. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. have a good night. Okay. Take good care. Night. Take care. Take care. <laughs> good Very night. Good. Night, night. Bye. Bye.